A rectangular swimming pool is 15 meter long and 20, 12 meter wide. Okay. A small path of half meter wide is constructed outside the swimming pool on all sides through which water which comes outside the pool as people swim goes to the purification plant. Find the area of the path and cost of constructing it at rupees 75 per meter square. Now I don't know how many of you have actually seen a swimming pool but it looks let's say something like this. It's in a rectangular shape that is what is given to us. We are told that the length is 15 meter and the breadth is 12 meter. Right? A small path of 12 meter wide is constructed outside the swimming pool on all sides. What happens is that as people come and get into the swimming pool, as more and more people start coming into the swimming pool, the water gets displaced. Right? And these waves at times, depending on how many people are there, what's the level of water, throw some water which goes outside these boundaries. In order to ensure that this water does not spill over to different places and you know make people to slip and fall, normally there is an outside boundary which is created outside the swimming pool and there are various pores if I may call them in which as this water goes it goes down then this water travels from here, here and then goes to a purification plant let me call this as PP where the water is purified and then it is funneled back into the swimming pool through some other routes right now coming back to the question what it says is that let's say for example I were to construct this particular path here okay which is nothing but again if you see these are two rectangles the area and everything for one of them is given to us we don't know what's the area of the other. You are told that the path is half meter wide which means that this area or let me use a different color even here this is half a meter this is half a meter this portion is half a meter because it's constructed on all the sides this is again half a meter right so if I were to designate these as two rectangles a b c and d right and this one let's say I call it e f g and h if I know the area of the larger rectangle and I know the area of the smaller rectangle right if I subtract the area of this rectangle out of the total piece I will get the area of the boundary right so can I write this like this area of the path is equal to the area of a b c d minus area e f g h now insofar as area of a b c d is concerned this can be written as a b into b c EFGH which is the smaller one can be written as area EF into GH. EF which is this side we know is 15 meter into GH which is the breadth of this rectangle is 12 meter. Now if I have to calculate the length of AB what is the length of AB? The length of AB is going to be the length of this side which is EF this area plus this plus this or AB can be written as 15 plus what's the length of this piece it is 0.5 meter half a meter plus length of this piece is again 0.5 meter so I can write easily that AB is equal to 16 into BC 15 into 12 gives you 180 so I'm just writing 180 meter square over here right Similarly, BC again, BC is what? This length. Again, this length can be written as what? Length of this rectangle plus this length plus this length. Again, we know both of them are half a meter each. 
so half plus half gives you 1 1 plus 15 uh, sorry yeah 1 plus 15 gives you 16 I made a small mistake here it, it is actually not 15 this is 12 so 12 plus 0.5 plus 0.5 will give you 13 right so 13 into 16 minus 180 meter square how much is 13 into 16 let's see 1 3 into 1 6 is equal to 208 meter square minus 180 meter square 28 meter square right so the area of the boundary is actually 28 meter square 1 meter construction takes rupees 75 so what is the total area total cost actually of path is equal to total area into cost of construction per square meter 28 into 75 right this will give you 2100 rupees you want to see it on the calculator let's do it 28 times 75 is equal to 2100 so what we learned here basically was that you know if you have to construct this triangle uh, sorry rectangle outside there's something similar to the one which we did for the inside rectangle in the previous question if you haven't had a chance to go through it you can just go back and look at it right the only difference is that the methodology remains the same you need to be careful as to whether the circle or the rectangle or whatever it is is to be constructed inside or outside right this video is brought to you by iadbook.com you can go to our website to see more than 1500 plus videos on various subjects if you like this video please hit the like button if you if you want to regularly stay updated you can please also subscribe to our channel Thank you for being with us today.